Hey guys, it's Lindsay. Welcome to my channel where I share all things about homeschool on here. Today's gonna be one of those days where I do a flip through on some curriculum workbooks that I really enjoy having incorporated into our homeschool. This is Evan Moore, one of my favorite like workbooks to have in our homeschool for supplementing. And this is for grade one and this is for grade three. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'd love to have you hit that subscribe button and join my family. Um, I have a son going to first grade and a daughter going into third. And I'm gonna share with you guys what it looks like and do a flip through. I have two of them and they're pretty big workbooks. So I will flip through them fast so you can see exactly what you'll be getting if you're interested in it. And I'll have the Amazon link down below for you guys. So this is what the table of contents look like. So you can pause it and look at it, but they go through lots of different sections of handwriting, phonics, grammar, spelling, reading, writing, everything, math and science and social studies. So I just wanna do a little flip through quickly for the first grade. And I love it because uh, it's just very colorful. So they have some handwriting at the beginning, very short section, and then there's phonics. And I love the way they do phonics. Um, this is perfect. Perfect for my son. And um, they're talking about plural, short vowels, syllables, all this like very gentle introduction because he's just getting out of kindergarten. So this is like great. These are all things that I have not taught him yet as far as like long vowel sounds and short vowel sounds. He's learning how to read, but these will be really, really good. Like we have gone over um, silent E's, so he has to just place them at the ends of the words. And I love the fact that you have to fill in like the picture that goes along with the sounds. So that is the phonics section. This is the grammar and punctuation section for first graders. So they're talking about nouns, plural nouns. These are all things that we you know, talk about and he reads, but he doesn't know that they're actually plural. He doesn't know the actual um, names of, you know, things that he's reading, like adjectives. So this is gonna be definitely something really cool to do with him, adding an ER, EST, this or that, these or those, filling in the blanks, which I really like fill in the blanks. So that section there is for grammar. Here is spelling and vocabulary, which I really like, I love spelling. So here we go. So here's just some of the spelling words that he's going to be going over, and they are short and long sounds of I and Y, short and long sounds of O. And I like these little boxes for them to fill in. I think it's very helpful visually because I'm a visual person, so he can fill these in here. And then he can draw the pictures that he is actually writing, so that's fun. And so that is the spelling and vocabulary, lots of different activities, nothing... Um, they're not all the same, so lots of variety. And then the section over here is reading. So this is putting something in order, first, next, and last. This is something that I would probably read to him and then ask him questions about, and then he can draw a picture. This is a really fun one because it is making your own sea turtle, which I'm in love with because I love sea turtles, so that is really neat. They have all the heads and the legs for them to cut out. My son will like that. So these are really fun little um, reading comprehension stories that you can go that goes along with lots of like unit studies that you might be doing with your older kids so I really really like it they're talking about main ideas cause and effect all of the things writing a title of a book just very basic stuff all right so we're gonna go to this green section here and this is writing it's about me this is so fun I love I love how it's set up like that write three fruits you like to eat write three rooms in your house so very small little things that they're starting off with that they're being um, told to write and then they have all the words here to fill in the blanks. So that will be something good for him. And then here's the rest of it. And then here we go to the math section with uh, fun little visual things for them to do to make math more fun. I think it's really, really neat. I think he's gonna like this because he does like math. So I'm gonna try to show you what it looks like in the purple section, just do a little flip through so you can see like patterns, like go over coins and subtraction. So this section over here is computer science, which I think is really neat how they have that, how computers work. And I think they have a coding one. Matching patterns. Oh, this is, yeah, this is for coders. I always thought coding would be very interesting to teach my kiddos. So this is definitely a fun way to start off understanding, you know, computers in a very basic way. So that's a really small section. 
science over here. They're talking about vibration. So there's little experiments that you can do using thermometers. And so that is this area. And then STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math. So here are fun little challenges and little experiments they can do. So this one is social studies. So they're gonna be doing like map work, voting, talking about voting, how do you use money, what is history, all that stuff and things around the world. I really like that. The last section, it's called SEL, Social and Emotional Learning. And this is a really good section just to express their feelings, writing down how they feel, giving someone your heart. That's cute. It's a very small section. And right here is all the answer keys for everything. And then in the back, they have a really cool like poster board that you could hang up on your wall. It's like a fun, a fun facts poster board. Butterflies can taste with their feet. All of these little fun facts um, for the kids. Let's go into grade three with top students. I'll try to go through this quickly so you can have like an overview of everything that your third grader is going to go over. So the same here, they're having grammar and punctuation, spelling, vocabulary, reading, writing, mindful moments, math, computer science, science, STEM, social studies, mindful moments, social and emotional learning. So pretty much the same setup, but a little bit more advanced. This is third grade, so you're gonna be working with capitalizing words and titles, abbreviations and nouns. I think it's so fun, a regular plural nouns. I just really like the colors. They have to fill in like proper nouns, kind of like Mad Libs over here. Going over simple verse tenses, adverbs, getting into spelling and vocabulary. How do you spell beware, rearranging letters, forming words with suffixes, prefix changes, so they go over that, and they have little word searches, homophones, antonyms, riddles. They also have reading, so they're going to be doing some reading comprehension. They could probably read this on their own. If not, you can read it along with them just to have fun. Uh, they're talking about sequence, nonfiction. So they're learning a lot about um, different things like platypus, Mesa Verde, fun facts about our moon, and then compare and contrast, fiction, nonfiction, and then they have reading comprehension at the end. So that is nice that they could do on their own. And then on this section it's writing, writing a clear idea and narrowing down a writing idea. So it's very helpful to have like visual things like little triangles, starting with a general idea and making it more specific and then narrowing it down. Writing important details, organizing your writings, writing and um, comparing and contrast. Over here is math. So they have, let me see, I'm gonna grab the section so you can see how much. They have a decent section for math. 163 to 224. So this math is definitely a little bit more than the first grade math. Measuring, number patterns. They had a banana split one. That's cute. Banana split. Look at the description. Draw the banana split in the bowl. Then use the key to find the cost of the banana split. Uh, it's really cool. So how much is one scoop of ice cream, chocolate sauce, two bananas, one cherry, and then they have to add up that. That's great because that's how my kids like to learn. They like to like pretend that they're actually like doing something like a store or like use, using actual money. So that would be fun. And then they're learning about areas, recess activities, the tallies, they love doing tallies. This is good. This is gonna help them organize graphs to see how many people have blonde hair or brown hair or black hair. So fractions are gonna go over, reverse word problems, picture patterns, lots of math in here. And then they have tan gram animals. Here's a section for computer science. They're talking about algorithms, which is really interesting. Um, unclear algorithms, missing step in algorithms. This is stuff that we talk about here on YouTube. Patterns and codes, finding the mistake in the pattern, code games. Green one is science. So they're gonna be going over like lots of different things like animals, changes in, in environments, fossils, and weather. Science, technology, engineering, math. They're going to be doing a STEM challenge, an egg carrier, hibernation station, 
Blubber Glove. So they're gonna talk about polar bears. We're gonna be going over social studies, being a good world citizen. And then they have a poster in the back with all of the country's flags. So they're gonna be learning about people around the world. And then social and emotional learning, they have right here what makes me a good person, character qualities, emotions, working with others, and then the keys, the answer keys. So in the back of this book, they are getting a poster of flags around the world, which is always a great little poster to put in your homeschool room. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.